when Caden was diagnosed in 2006. He was diagnosed at six months with infant leukemia and basically right then and there our lives were turned upside down. We basically moved right into the children's hospital for the next year. We lived there for one year to the day. It was really a hard time, but it was also a beautiful time because life was really slow. You know, you, you weren't doing too much when you're living in the hospital. You were um, just with your kid all day long. And all, it, as much as it was a sad place, it just, it, life stopped, you know. It, it almost feels like I lived 20 years in that one year in the hospital. And that just became our new normal. All of a sudden, you know, he's going through this treatment and He's just bouncing back every time, and you're like, wow, he is going to make it. Caden's like a star, he's a rock, he's amazing, this little guy, and so we constantly believed in it, that he was always going to make it. They said to us two months before treatment ended that it was time to start rebuilding our lives and living again, and what really mattered to us and we thought if we could do anything what would we do and it would be to have another yoga studio so we decided when the doctor said you know he's doing great he's almost finished treatment we thought we'd start building this space and it took two months to demolish what was here before and in that time Caden was still doing great and then a week before he was finished treatment he contracted a bacterial blood infection and he passed away really suddenly We felt in a lot of ways that the only way to really go on and be happy and be a family and be together would be to do the studio. And so I said, okay, let's do it. It just became a place of healing. Every day I would unlock the door. I can totally remember it, sometimes even crying on my way to the studio. And then I just pull it together. It, almost, it was just like walking into this happy place. It felt, it felt different than any other place. And I think it was a little bit to do with his energy. He was here, it just felt like, ah, oh, calm. And I was okay as soon as I walked in the door. Childhood cancer is a disease that is uh, affecting still way too many children. While we can't change the cause of it, because we don't know what causes it, but that we can change the outcomes through greater emphasis on research and our recreational programs that focus on uh, healing their body, mind and spirit. Candace uh, lost her uh, son Caden to cancer five years ago and uh, she has a wonderful yoga studio and she uh, did a program today for children and their siblings who have cancer. She came to us with this idea saying that this is something that she could do and that's quite often the case with our families. It's wonderful that they can uh, you know, feel that they can do something uh, to help. That's the really special thing about uh, the Kids Cancer Care Foundation is we're a family. It's my mission, I guess, in some ways, to let people know that, you know, you can find um, life after such a devastating death, you know, like happiness, not a fake pretend, you know, and not just a drudging through life, but a real, you know, really happy life. Just to get a good stretch. I really feel like Caden was such a gift to us in our life, and, and yeah, we lost him, but he was amazing and he was a present and just didn't last forever.